my last time. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a story that comes out of Michigan where a nurse that worked for the VA stole the actual authentic cards and was selling them for $150 to $200 a pop. So this nurse has been charged. Her name is Bethann Kurzak. Don't sound like a sister, does it? So this is The Guardian, October 4th, 2021. So a nurse that worked for the VA hospital in Michigan has been charged with stealing and selling jab scene cards. According to court record, Beth Ann Kurzak, 37, was responsible for administering the jab scenes, so she had full access to these cards. In addition to allegedly stealing the authentic cards, Kurzak is charged with theft of jab scene lot numbers. So she would have lot numbers because she had the actual jab scenes and she is administering this. So she was taking the lot numbers off of the uh, vials and writing it on there. So it makes it look even more authentic, right? Like the person really went there and got the shot. According to the criminal complaint, Kurzak operated her alleged scheme for more than four months selling the cards for $150 to $200 each via Facebook Messenger. Look, I mean, why should you be surprised? Guess what? I did an article, y'all, that was probably two years ago. They were selling opioids all over Facebook. It went on for years before it got shut down. In fact, when Mark Zuckerberg went before Congress, they spoke to him about that. Why is all these drugs being sold on Facebook? But, you know, you, you speak your mind about a black issue and you go to Facebook jail. But I bet you, I bet you these people selling this stuff illegally, they don't go to Facebook jail at all because it don't say anything about this woman going to Facebook jail. She just got busted by the authorities. In one interaction on June 3rd, a person identified in court records as confidential source requested a card for a man who the source said would be allowed to visit his children only if he had proof of the Jap scene. You can get just one of them. Uh, damn Jap scene cards, the source wrote. Kurzak agreed and was asking for their name and birth date in order to fill out the card. Tell him I charge $150 for these. So he owes you a favor, Kurzak allegedly wrote along with the laughing emoji. On August 12th, Michigan police and the Department of Veterans Affairs were notified federal authorities of a tip concerning Kurzak. Further investigation found that Kurzak offered to give a commission for help selling the cards. So she was opening the door for other people to come and help her sell the cards. She was reckless. That's why she got busted. She was reckless. And for her to do that, she was real comfortable at doing this stuff. Kurzak was arrested on the 29th of September, released on bond, is due back in court this month. Regardless to whether an individual chooses to get the jab scene, we urge everyone to avoid turning to schemes like these to evade the jab scene requirements. Selling these cards is a crime. Gavin McLaren, acting special agent with the VA Office of Inspector General, The criminal complaint also charged Raphael Smiley, 32, of Detroit with fraud involving the Department of Agency seals, identity document fraud, and trafficking of uh, counterfeit goods. 
According to the complaint, Smiley was responsible for orchestrating a scheme to import and sell fake jab scene cards from fraudulent shippers in China, advertising them on, listen to this, Facebook and Instagram. Boy, if you want to find illegal activity, go to Facebook because they sure got a lot going on there. But again, they put you in Facebook jail for far less. These folks crack me up. So anyway, uh, the pandemic restrictions lift across the U.S. Uh, fraudulent Japsine cards are increasingly evident as public spaces such as schools, restaurants, and concerts require proof of Japsine for entry. Last month, three Vermont state troopers resigned after being accused of creating fake Japsine cards. Damn, state troopers did that? Well, come on, we already know the law enforcement in America is criminal. So that's not that's not too surprising. In August, two U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced that it has seized more than 3,000 fake cards in Memphis, Tennessee. Damn. So, I mean, this stuff is going to go on, y'all. It, it, it's never going away now that those fake cards are out here. And it's always going to be some sucker that's going to buy it. And that's just the way it is. This is America. America's loaded with suckers and dummies and fools. So y'all tell me what you think about this. I mean, look, I saw another one a month ago, but I just didn't do the story where a doctor got busted doing this. So you're going to see people from all walks of life. This ain't you no know, just a little criminal out on the street. It's some of these people that have full access to these cards and selling them. So look, it is what it is. This is what America is. America is really a, a very criminal place. Always have been, always will be. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.